Hi guys, Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with another bins haul. And I gotta say guys, I was on a limit again today. I'm still playing catch up with all the inventory that I need to get listed. So I gave myself a hard limit of 30 items this week. And it was another week where I wish I could have gone all day. I'm pretty sure that my return on investment this week is even better than it was last week. And if you have not watched last week's video, I'm gonna link it down below. Make sure to watch it because it had one of the most insane finds I've ever found in the bins. It was it was just an insane week, and I think this week is like equal or better. I don't know, guys. You just never know what you're gonna find in the bins, and this week was like another doozy. Lots of interesting new brands, crazy bolo brands, like brands I've never heard of but are incredibly valuable. Like it, 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 I've got some cool stuff. But before we get started here, if you are new, if this is the first time we're meeting, uh, first and foremost, welcome. I am Julia, that's my name. We talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling on the internet here. If that sounds like something that you might be into, consider hitting subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. But guys, we've got a lot to get through here. Lots of really interesting things to talk about, some very cool new brands. So why don't you go grab yourself a snack, grab yourself a drink. You know I've got my matcha latte. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and let's get into the goods. Let's start off with a bang here, shall we? So the first thing we've got here is a dress from Alice and Olivia. And I, I've never had anything from Alice and Olivia that didn't sell super quick for a great price. So this is like a little seafoam green. It's like an asymmetrical top and it's got this cutout. It's kind of hard to show while holding. So it's got this cutout at the waist. There you go. And it gives you an idea of what we're looking at. It is a size four. I don't think that really matters with Alice and Olivia. Like I said, I've sold, I've sold size two XS from Alice and Olivia in like two days. It's just a very expensive brand. People know it, people love it. And this is super cute. It needs to be like, it needs to be cleaned. It needs to be steamed, but this will look fantastic. Definitely something I'm gonna have to put on the mannequin to show, but I have no doubt that I'll probably see like 40 or $50 for this. This probably retailed in like the four or $500 range. Alice and Olivia is crazy expensive. Definitely a label to be on the lookout for if you are unfamiliar with them. You wanna make sure you have that in your brain. So if you see it, you grab it and comfortably pay up for this. Before we get into the rest of the haul, I wanna take a quick minute to thank the sponsor of this video, Vendu. If you have been following my videos for any amount of time, you probably already know that I've been using Vendu as my cross-lister since pretty much day one of my reselling journey. Regardless if you're a full-time reseller or a side hustler, you probably already know that if you wanna be maximizing your sales, you need to be cross-listing on multiple platforms. Unfortunately, cross-listing can be an incredibly time-consuming endeavor. Not to mention how messy it can make your inventory management, managing your inventory inside each one of those platforms individually. Well, Vendu's got your back. It allows you to enter the information for your items just once and with a few clicks, cross-list it to multiple platforms like Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, eBay, Etsy, Whatnot, Vestiaire, Shopify, and more. But even more so with its sale detection feature, which is live on many of its available platforms, it will literally detect when a sale has been made and delist it from all other platforms that you have it listed with automatically you don't need to lift a finger. So no need to babysit your platforms or worry that an item is gonna accidentally be sold on two separate platforms at the same time. It has honestly made my inventory management so much less chaotic. So if you've been thinking about stepping up your game and getting started with a cross-lister, I cannot recommend Vendu enough. There is a reason I've been with them since day one and haven't looked back. The interface is super simple to use. Customer service has been fantastic anytime I've needed them, and it really does save me many hours in a month. So if you'd like to give Vendu a try, go ahead and click the link in the description below and get started. Now, back to the haul. All right, next up here, we've got this pretty dress from Quince. This is 100% linen, it's navy blue, obviously incredibly wrinkled, midi length, adjustable spaghetti straps, which we love. It's got a smocked back for a perfect fit. It is a size medium, fully lined with pockets. Are you familiar with Quince? I'm a big fan. I love like, I love investing in good basics and their prices really cannot be beat. So 
I'm a big fan of them and they do tend to resell really well. Now this would have retailed probably for like 70 or $80. On the resale market, I'll probably see somewhere between 30 and 40, obviously once it is cleaned and steamed. But even though their prices, like their retail prices are very, very reasonable. Their resale prices are like exceptionally good in relation to their retail price. So just one of those brands to be on the lookout for. And of course, if you are looking for like quality basics for yourself, check out Quince on the secondhand market. Everything I've ever gotten from them has been like fantastic. And I've got a couple sweaters that are going on probably four or five years old now with multiple wears a week and they still feel brand new. They really wash up beautifully. The, the clothing is really nice quality. So anyway, I'll probably see like $35 on this. Next up here, we've got this cute little shirt from Bob Mackie Studio. And I'm not quite sure about this line. I know that there's like wearable art by Bob Mackie and that's the QVC line. I know that there's like obviously the Bob Mackie regular line. This is silk. This is 100% silk and in this pretty cheerful like chiffon striped print. I don't know, I'm gonna have to do a little research on it, but for a dollar I was gonna pick it up and do the research later. You don't leave behind a Bob Mackie. I'm still channeling finding one of those incredible beaded dresses that you would have seen back in the 70s or 80s. I'm just, someday, someday it will come to me. But depending on what line this is, I'll probably see somewhere like between like 50 and $20. Either way, very cute, so cool. I just, I love Bob Mackie and I love finding his pieces. I just feel like he is like a literal confection of a human being. Next up here, this is a piece from Rails and I've slowed up picking up Rails. It moves a little bit slower for me now, but this sweater with the lightning bolts, it obviously needs to be cleaned, a little bit of a debobble on it. Anything like this with this kind of like whimsical motif on it tends to sell really well for me. Lightning bolts, stars, hearts, anything like that. People seek it out. It's super soft. It's really nice and stretchy. It's a size large. It's kind of a boxy fit. I have no doubt that I'll see like $30 for this. Again, anytime I have these like whimsical kind of motifs on anything, like doesn't necessarily matter the brand as long as it's good quality and I'm getting it at the right price, I'll pick it up. Next up here, you know I love my We The Free Basics. So this is, I love this color. This is like a Loden green, boxy, short sleeve mock neck t-shirt. So it's super soft, what size is this? It's a size extra large, great condition. Again, these kind of things from We The Free, I'll get anywhere between 20 and $30 for them and usually pretty quickly, like people just love their basics. So I will pick them up every time I see them, especially in the bins if I'm seeing them for $2.99, $3.99 at the regular thrift, I'm still gonna pick them up because I know that I'll see that return, so. Just definitely something to look out for wherever you do your sourcing. Don't go paying $7.99, $8.99 for stuff like this, but $2, $3, $4, I think it's a pretty safe bet. We the free specifically. Next up here, now this is something that I felt and I, I like I felt the sleeve and I'm like, oh, that feels really nice. It's just a little like ribbed cream sweater with a crew neck from Citizens of Humanity. I don't know if you can see that tag there, it's tonal. Size small, this is like a Lyocell cotton blend. It feels like a dream, it feels luxe. I've actually never found anything Citizens of Humanity that were not jeans. So I'm interested to see how this sells. This retail, I wanna say it was like $180, so maybe 30 to 40 on this. I'm not quite sure if you've ever found Citizens of Humanity clothing that are not jeans. Let me know down below how you did. How fast did they sell? What did you pay for it? What did you get for it? Let a girl know. But I just thought that this was beautiful. And I mean like a good luxurious cream rib sweater is just always in style. So it's a great like closet staple or piece of a capsule wardrobe. So we're coming in with another banger here, guys. Um, Telling you, the bins the past two weeks have been absolutely insane. Of course, like this on days where I had a hard limit. So this is a dress from M by Missoni. If you are unfamiliar with Missoni, they're known for, they're of course a knitwear brand, luxury knitwear. A dress from the Missoni mainline would retail in the four to $6,000 range. M by Missoni is like their diffusion, like casual wear brand. And they retail in like the five to $800 range. So it is a diffusion line, but it is still an extremely expensive diffusion line. So they are known for these kind of decorative knits. So let me get you up close. You see the light lining hanging out of the bottom here. So the decorative knits, it's very, like once you know what you're looking for for Missoni, like tag or not, you'll be able to spot it anywhere. It's just a very distinct method of knit that they do. 
and it is just uniquely Miss Sony. There's a little stain here, but I'm also pretty sure I can get that out. I think that's from the bottom of the bins, but I think that I'll probably see like sold comps for similar dresses are in the like 80 to $200 range. So I'm not quite sure what I'll get for this. Of course, I'm gonna have to tackle a little bit of staining first, but sold comps on similar dresses sit around like the 50 to $200 range. So I'm not quite sure what I'll get somewhere in that range, but what a crazy find. I just like who? donates these definitely a label to be on the lookout for guys that even like even the m for missoni yes it's diffusion but that is still an incredibly high-end line oh this was such a cool thing that i found okay so this is pure dkny and this is pure 90s this is a silk skirt with like an asymmetrical ruffle at the bottom this is so dkny is not a brand that i would pick up very frequently but because I know that this is absolutely 90s, I'm definitely gonna pick it up. It feels like the elastic is still good, which is nice, especially when you're dealing with vintage stuff. It does say it's a size small, which doesn't necessarily look like a small. So I'll put measurements in there, but this kind of skirt in this color specifically right now is having a moment. I look at the, like, look at the construction on this. Look at how that ruffle is sewn in. Can you see that like seaming, how it goes flat? to gathered like on the same seam details y'all and now i don't know if pure dkny was like a department store brand i feel like i don't remember a lot of dkny stuff being like silks or wools but either way i'll probably see like i wouldn't doubt like 40 bucks on this it, it's a pretty in-demand silhouette right now it's like people are going for that what that real 90s y2k look especially with fall coming up i can use like witchy i can use kind of ethereal i can use all of those kind of keywords that are going to get it into the right eyeballs but what a cool find and i mean like this is so much silk you should you should feel how like full these ruffles feel at the end just beautiful and like no moth holes that i could see like no damage it they it looks to be in pretty fantastic condition and lined in 100 percent cotton beautiful so this is a little lululemon tank top and actually one of you told me about a program that lululemon has that you can bring in like older gear because this is definitely older i want to say that this is like 2010s early 2010s just the way that the back is so even if this doesn't sell and what i'll end up doing with these older pieces is i'll maybe have them listed for like a month or two and if they don't sell i'll put them in the pile to take to lululemon to like get new stuff for myself so i know tanks get, oh there we go so yeah so even if this doesn't sell i'll bring it in and i'll get a little store credit and buy myself something new because i do love lululemon stuff although this is pretty nice like i i remember the era that this was made in and this would have been this would have been expensive for what it was anyway kind of a cool find and again so i've got a backup plan that i can move the inventory on pretty quickly if i don't get you know a regular sale price on this next up this is for i think this is yeah this is saturday sunday i love to find saturday sunday that's an anthropology brand I just thought this dress was so cute. So it's this pretty like washed red color. So it's this nubby knit, it's like a cotton modal, so it's got a drape to it, but let me get you in close on that texture. Can you kind of see how that fabric is? It just feels really like organic, but organic without the body. I like the details here. You've got like a little stitched stripe down the sleeve. It's got the little roll tab sleeve, so you can actually cinch that up a little higher if you want. It is a size small. It's in fantastic condition. It's just like an easy, like one piece wonder dress. I'll probably see like somewhere between 20 and 30 on this. Saturday, Sunday, I do love to find. They do move, they do move really quickly for me. I find their pieces. They're kind of like elevated basics made with really great texture textiles with like little details they're not like the over-the-top boho stuff that anthropology sometimes does but sometimes that stuff can be a little bit harder to move some stuff like this people love an elevated basic and i wish that was my size because i would be keeping that next up now this was <laughs> this is kind of funny so this is from a brand called apres june and i don't know if this is like the originator of this like boxer style trend that's going on right now i kind of feel like it is let me know if you know down below. I'm pretty sure that that is the name I remember seeing. The quality is really nice. And this <laughs> these, this pair of pants was literally like under the wheel of a bin. So I had to like move a bin to get to it. And they're in, so there's like a little smudge from the wheel, but they're in great shape. They're a size large. They're this kind of two-tone 
stripe pattern, wide legs, super, super cozy, comfy. I think that these retail in like the 65 to $70 range. And I want to say I'll probably see like 20 to 25 on them on the resale market. I'm interested to see how fast they move. I don't know if that was like just a little micro trend that only happened this summer, or if we're going to be seeing it as kids go back to college and they can wear stuff like this, like straight from bed into class. So anyway, like details are there. So there's pockets, there's side pockets, the waistband is nice. It's like a fully stitched waistband. So you got that center stitch there that keeps the elastic in place. Yeah, so interested to see how this does. If any of you know if this is kind of the, the brand that originated it, or if you've ever found an Opre June piece, let me know. I'm very interested. Next up, oh my goodness, this epic little vintage piece. That, this is so wrinkled. <laughs> like I, I need to get this steam cleaned. So this is from the 90s. It's a blouse. And it's this like teal color body and then it's got that like dark paisley that is it's like to me when I think about like a silk jacket from the 90s it's this dark paisley color it's always this dark paisley color and I don't know why I think that I don't know if they were just ubiquitous of course when I was a kid in the 90s like that was like my <laughs> my world was very small so let me know if it was the same for you but this is from a brand called cafe styled in Italy and the crazy thing is so I would have, I would have picked this up It's because it's a vintage silk like color block blouse and that would have sold for me alone. Doesn't matter like who made it, but other pieces from this brand are going like 50 to $60. So I don't know if it's a high end brand. If any of you guys remember this label from the nineties, let me know. I've never heard of it, but the quality is nice. The silk is beautiful. And it's in great shape, despite the fact that it looks absolutely horrible on here. But what a cool find. And I cannot wait to see what this looks like when it is polished up because my God, like, can you like, look at that? Look at how wrinkled that is. So I don't know, I'll bank on like 35, but like I said, sold comps are very high for this brand. Oh, next up, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I feel silk and it's mine and this felt like brand new silk so this is i think it's actually a pajama top it's from a brand called the works at Saks Fifth avenue and this is 100 percent silk satin which is literally maybe the best feeling stuff on the planet it just feels like an absolute dream it's this beautiful champagne color i think I, this feels like it's gotta be like brand new this does not look like it's been worn. It's definitely a pajama style top. Oh, it is brand new. <laughs> I'm sitting here, I'm like, it's gotta be brand new. So it says it's $128, although this looks like an older tag. Either way, $128 for just a silk top, even today is a lot of money, but this is beautifully made. And I think, I think there's enough that I can work with keyword wise, you know, pajama style, loungewear style. I love these cuffs. I love these kind of like exaggerated cuffs here. This is just beautiful. So I'll probably see like a full silk blouse from Saks Fifth Avenue, old new stock or dead stock. I'll be sure to use both of those terms. I'll probably see like somewhere 35 to 45 on this. Isn't that beautiful? What size is this? Size 12 too. So it's a good size. Oh, I just, I just want my whole life to be in this fabric. Next up, this is a little free people piece. I love finding these little embroidered pieces in the bins. So this is just kind of like cuff sleeve here. It's kind of tie dye-ish. It's got embroidery down the front. It is a size small. I think it'll be pretty easy to find like the name of this. It's got a lot of things that I can use to keyword it. It's gauze, it's got embroidered, it's boho. It's cropped, it's short sleeve, it's boxy. So I'll probably see like 25 to 32 on this. It's in great shape again, needs like a bath and a steam desperately. And this is what I get for leaving things in bags before I film the haul. Next up, a couple swimsuits. And I know we're at the end of the season, but like there are specific kinds of swimsuits that I will pick up anytime I see them. And we're about to talk about it. So this is a cute little swimsuit from Andy. I think this is called the Mykonos style, but this is a limited edition print. So Andy makes swimsuits that are like great quality, like basic colors. And they typically will have like a regular swimsuit fabric. They'll have a ribbed swimsuit fabric, which is a little bit more compressive. And then they have like a shinier swimsuit fabric, but usually in these kind of basic colors, black, red, white, blue. So they do limited editions of these prints. And I want to get you up close on this textile because I think this is so gorgeous. 
look at the like can you see the texture of that like can you see how the pattern is actually raised it's just gorgeous so this particular style and they have like four or five styles that like people know so it's just a cross back with a low back and it's a size small andy swimsuits retail for like 128 to 168 dollars and on the resale market i'll probably see somewhere around 40 to 60 on this i don't know if the limited edition color is going to like move the needle any but i'll do a little bit of research on it but i wish they still made this because it looks like brocade it looks almost like curtain fabric anyway this was a great find and so this is the label you want to be keeping your eyes out for love andy swimsuits next up another swimsuit and again a very interesting one so this is from a brand called sia s-e-e-a it's also screened on the actual swimsuit so the reason i picked this up is it's neoprene right like this is this feels like a like a wetsuit like a lightweight wetsuit so this is a surf suit sia is an australian brand this is of course made for surfing this is made for water sports so it's got a little bit more insulation than a typical swimsuit so sia is an australian brand they of course make like sports specific swimsuits like this this is made for surfing it's made uh you know it's it's just a little bit more durable than a typical swimsuit they retail for like 160 to 180 dollars and on the resale market i see some other ones like this going between like 40 and 60 dollars so definitely again a brand to be on the lookout for anybody else ever found a sia swimsuit anything like this before let me know next up here another like crazy find so this is from by anthropology i think this is by anthropology so by anthropology is of course one of their house brands it's one of their best-selling lines for me and i think it's because i think they're mostly new so this is a linen blend dress obviously incredibly wrinkled but it's got this like faux wrap top to it in this beautiful like natural color it looks kind of like unbleached linen if you get in close on it obviously again needs a bath and a steam but it's got this like faux wrap top and the bottom also kind of faux wrap style it will fit kind of close to the body it's a size six this feels despite the fact that it looks wrinkled <laughs> despite the fact that it looks so wrinkled that's just because it's been sitting in a bag and it's linen so it feels pretty much brand new it feels like it's maybe been worn once fully lined skirt there i'll probably see like 30 to 45 on this on the resale market it is lovely it's like a perfect kind of like almost casual dress you know in basically brand new condition such a cool find oh yes so this is some like y2k victoria's secret silk i've been trying to only pick up victoria's secret silk or vintage these days even the little silky nightgowns they've kind of slowed down but vintage and silk pieces do still sell very well this is like the tag that was around like the early 2000s you can see it looks similar to what they have today but today most of the labels unless you're getting a silk piece are printed you can see how that's woven it is a size small it is that hot pink color that was everywhere with the contrast lace trim and this is like one of those tie front kind of flyaway tops i can 100 percent see somebody wearing this like as a top with some like booty shorts out to a club i'll probably see i don't know 25 to 35 on this and i have no doubt that something like this will go pretty quickly this kind of early 2000s y2k vintage victoria's secret silk vintage express silk those were kind of the brands that you would go to for these kind of tops and they sell quick and this is in like perfect condition next up another one now i grabbed this and i didn't really like the the label looked nice the label kind of sounded familiar but i wasn't super familiar with the brand that's lila p and i picked it up because the sweater just felt so nice so it's just like a little basic kind of cream nubby knit shawl collar sweater super cozy size small it's a cotton nylon cashmere blend so it's very very soft i mean it has like you know it has all the hallmarks of something super nice and sure enough i get it home i didn't even comp it in store i get it because i'm like there's enough about this sweater that i can you know sell it on so i get it home sure enough lila p is a very expensive brand that's probably retailed around 200 dollars so i'll probably see like 35 to like 45 on the resale market some of the sold comps from this brand go up into like the 80s some of them have gone in like the 20s so i figure i'll split the difference there but again a great like 
high quality basic. I love picking up these kinds of things as long as it's got enough about it that I can use to keyword it. But this is a beautiful sweater. And last item in the first bag, again, something I didn't know the label to, but it was silk, so I picked it up. So this is a robe from a brand called Yala, and I had never heard of it. It is, of course, pure silk, but robes sell pretty well for me if I can find like high quality robes. And again, 100% silk, kind of funky floral robe with the tie attached, which again is always a treat in the bins. This is like an always buy for me. You know, like I will probably see, so Yala, as it turns out, is a pretty high end brand. It's probably retailed around $200. And this is in like perfect condition. Obviously needs a bath and a steam, but I love this print and I just think it's really fun and whimsical and bright and cheery. And I'll probably see like maybe 40 or $50 on the resale market, maybe a little bit more. I don't see much Yala silk. Feels like a dream and is just super fun and like very long. It's not a short silk robe. I feel like I don't see many lightweight robes at this length. So this was an exciting find. Okay, on to the next bag. There are just some really cool things. <laughs> this, was a, this was a great day. Okay, so this I found and I picked it up because it was silk. Also horribly wrinkled, needs a good steam, but this is from a brand called Project Alabama. And the tag looked interesting. And when you have the tag combined with like this kind of ruffle work, with this kind of like raw edge, with this quality of silk, like I'm gonna pay attention. So. As it turns out, I believe this top in particular was sold at Anthropology, and like just I'll, I'll say like I'll probably see like $35 on the resale market. That there's a couple out there and that's about what they've sold for. But the thing to talk about here is Project Alabama. Now this is a newer tag, but back in the day, Project Alabama got its start by the designer who literally like took a t-shirt, put it on top of another t-shirt, did some cut work and did the hand stitching around it. So they started this brand called Project Alabama. And if you ever see like, you can tell that this label has been attached by a machine, right? Like those are machine stitches. You can just tell they're too perfect to be done by hand, too small and too perfect. But if you ever find this label, and it's on a bigger piece of paper, it's on a bigger piece of cloth and it looks like it's been hand stitched on, pay attention. Those pieces from the early days of Project Alabama are 100% handmade. There is not a stitch in them that is not done by hand. All done in the US by people making a fair wage and they retailed for like three, $400 and they resell very high, like a hundred to $200. If you can find them, they're all handmade, right? Like, so they're, they're rare and they're one of a kind. Like the label still exists. The original designer is no longer a part of it. And you can usually tell again by that stitching. And this was such a fun wormhole to go down. I love like, I love learning these kind of stories about companies. But if you can find one of the ones with the hand stitching on it and it looks, I'll see if I can, I'll see if I can find a picture and put it here so you kind of know what to look like. I, I feel like any one of you who watches my videos would like automatically take notice of something like this if you saw it because it would just be so unique and so well made but um just you know again like this was a cool find but if you find one of those original project alabama pieces like pick it up if you have ever found one out there if you have already found one let me know down below i want to know like where you found it how much you paid for it how quick it sold I'm, I'm very very interested it sounds like the pieces are just gorgeous but even this absolutely stunning and again, I'll probably see like 35 to $40 on it. Next up here, this is a little piece from House of Harlow. Now I love finding House of Harlow. They are sold at TJ Maxx. They are also sold at Revolve. And every piece I've ever found has sold so quick. So this is just like a little cotton topper piece. It's got a little tie right here. It's got these like embroidered applique pieces. Let me get you up close on the back there. See how that's all done? So it's this really interesting texture, like tonal texture. It's kind of high, low, it's wide and boxy. This is a size medium, long sleeve. Again, all this luscious, like double weight. Yeah, double layer cotton gauze, beautiful. So I will probably see like 35 to $45 on this. That's about what I've seen on similar pieces from House of Harlow. And again, it will probably go super quick. I love House of Harlow stuff. And I will say that I think that the quality on most of the things that I have found has been really top notch. So definitely a brand I would put 
in your repertoire if you are shopping for yourself. Like keep your eyes out for those House of Harlow pieces. Even at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, like I love them. And I love Nicole Richie. Like I love her aesthetics, so not surprising that I love her stuff. Next up, something I will always pick up every time I see it. This is a little Zara cropped curved hem linen top in this beautiful hot pink. This is a size extra small. So decently oversized. <laughs> this looks like it would fit me. So Zara linen always sells really well for me. It's always like better quality than I think I'm gonna see in it. So I'll probably see like 28 to 32 on this. And I have no doubt it'll go pretty quickly, especially with this color. I don't see much linen in this like hot pink. Next up here, now this is something I will pick up every time I see it. This is a brown sweater. It's got a ton of fuzzies on it, but I can easily clean this up. This is 100% cashmere from Theory. That is the older Theory label. So if you do find something with that label and it's cashmere, do yourself a favor and do a really thorough check for moth holes on it because moths love cashmere. But this is in like perfect condition. I love the deep brown color of it. It's crew neck. It's just a very classic cut. It's a size medium. Again, in beautiful condition. I'll probably see like 40 to $45 on this, maybe a little bit more. Theory cashmere is like amongst the best cashmere in the world. So I love finding it. And then the, going on the tag, this is probably like early 2000s or late 90s, which is always amazing when I find those pieces in great condition. And like, there's no wear under the arms, right? Like I, I would not be surprised if this was not worn much by whoever owned it and ultimately donated it. But yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of defuzzing. It looks like it was near, this is like feather. So it must've been next to like a down comforter or something in the bins and picked up a bunch of those little fuzzes, but something I can pick off while I'm watching a TV show or something. We are getting there, guys. Okay, so next up, this is a like, Sherpa coat that I found. And the tag on here only says Junie, which I think is like somebody's name. It's one of those like stitch on tags, but I saw this on the back and I'm like, oh, that's free people movement. So this is just like an oversized Polar Tech fleece jacket in great condition. The Free People Movement tag is gone. It usually, it used to sit on top of this Polar Tech tag, but if you see on the inside, it's like trademark Free People. We all know what this looks like. Like they have that on all of the Free People Movement. It is a size medium. Sold comps on this are going like $50, $60. Free People Movement coats sell very, very well for me. This is probably on the lower end of the Free People Movement coats. If you ever find one of like the quilted ones, you can generally expect to get like $100. They retail for like $250. This probably retailed for like a good $180. So I think this will be a quick sell. I need, I'm gonna get this up probably right about now because this is a great like back to school thing that I can see a lot of people going for, but it's in great condition. Like in the bins, guys. This is I think from last year. Another great brand to keep your eyes out for. This is a Vecla Fee, which literally means I think with the girls. This is a pair of like blush pink wide leg ankle length trousers. A Vecla Fee is sold at Revolve. It's pretty high end. These probably retail like $150, $175. And they're in perfect condition. A nice like drapey fabric too. It's like a little heavier weight. It's no Japanese crepe from Maritzia. I don't think any trousers will, in my opinion, feel better than those until you get into like, you know, Carolina Herrera or whatever. But these are a size six. Again, perfect condition. It looks like sold comps on these are in the $30 to $40 range. So hopefully I'll get around there. I mean, this is a little bit more of a springy look, but either way, like it's a, it's a brand to be on the lookout for and people do still very much love these kind of trousers as day wear. That, that is very much still having its moment. God, construction on this is beautiful though. Really, really well made. Ah, this is something that I'm pretty sure I just am gonna keep for myself. This is just a J. Crew girlfriend tee. I, my humble opinion, you could never have too many good, like plain white tees. I love the J. Crew girlfriend tee. It's like a good fit for me. It's like kind of like a guy's fit, but not quite so boxy. It's I don't like the ones that are like super cut in like that. I like it to be a little bit boxy, but I also don't like it to be like over the top boxy or too long. And that's where these shine for me. I like the length of them. This is a size extra large. Great condition, just white slub cotton. Definitely not something I would advise you to get to like resell. This is just 
this is just for me. We've got like four more to go and they're all like pretty spectacular. So this one is a denim and supply top, size medium. This is a defunct Ralph Lauren brand and this style top in particular seems to be what sells the fastest. I've had a couple of these shirts and they sell lightning quick. This is a size medium, but it is definitely oversized. It's got a drawstring bottom, so you can wear it like wide or cinched in. Same with the top. You can kind of cinch it in or you can wear it nice and wide. This is in like fabulous condition. A lot of these denim and supply pieces, and I, I don't know when they stop making denim and supply, but a lot of the pieces I find are like, they feel like they've seen a lot of wear. I'm still gonna pick them up because people, like they seek this brand out, but this feels like it could have been bought yesterday. Like it, this still feels very, very like, this still feels like brand new. So this is an exciting one. I'll probably see like $35 on this. And I have no doubt that I'll see that pretty quickly. Very fall like colors. I love this kind of like moody floral. Just a brand I will pick up anytime I see it, especially at the bins. Again, excited to find one in this kind of condition because I rarely find them in this kind of condition. Next up here, another brand that I've never found before, but I am aware of. This is a pretty little cocktail dress with like a sheer ruched side. You can see how that looks there. This is from a brand called Black Halo, which is another like just very, very expensive brand. Oh, I like how that kind of has a little decorative split there, right? Like a little peekaboo. So I can't, I couldn't find the size on this. I think it's about a size four or six it's made beautifully i think that this is actually like merino like this feels like wool it's got a nice side stay here for a little structure because it is one shoulder and it is mini length in like perfect condition i'm seeing people ask like 60 or 70 on this dress but sold comps i'm seeing more in that like 30 to 40 dollar range Either way, I think this is a little bit older. I want to say that this is probably like 2010s-ish. But either way, quality is really beautiful. So I knew it was something special and then I saw the label and took a chance. Okay, so this is maybe one of the coolest things I've ever found. So it is this incredible like lightweight jacket slash like boxy blouse. And this is done by a person named Liba Marks. And I'd never heard of her before, but this is all embroidered. This is all like cross stitch, different kind of cross stitch designs. It's got this kind of custom piece in the back. There's a little stain up top, which I'm pretty confident I could get out. But so I did a little research on Liba Marks and it looks like she does, I, I don't think she's designing clothing anymore. I wanna say that this is from like the early 2000s, but she does do this kind of work on like furniture. Look at the buttons. I mean, they're all different. They're all unique. They're all special. So as it turns out, what she does is she uses pieces of old tablecloths. Slept and dreamt that life was beauty. I just, I just think that this is so beautiful and so unique. It's just so special. It's just such a special little piece. One of a kind for sure. I see other sold comps going in the like hundred dollar range. I'm just, like, there's, there's not gonna be anything just like this because I'm assuming that these are all vintage tablecloth that she kind of compiled and put together in a way that felt beautiful to her. Like I almost don't wanna sell this. I just think it's so cool. I really do. I think it's so unique. It's so interesting. It's so funky. I might like maybe I'll just keep it and wear it a few times before I sell it. But what a cool find. Isn't this like incredible? Like I would just love like as a little girl, my mom had this button tin. I feel like everybody's mom had the button tin and I loved going through it to find like the special buttons, like the onesies and twosies that she had in there. Like just looking at the buttons that she has on this jacket, like I would just love to go through her button collection. It's like the little things, you know? But what a cool piece. I mean, if, if you have ever found a Liba Marks piece, please let me know in the comments down below because I feel like there's not many of these out here and every single one of them has got to be special. So I'm just really excited by this because um, I'm a nerd for this kind of stuff. And this like legitimately just brings me joy. Isn't it so cool? Oh my God, I can't even deal with that. Now this final one, this is the last piece. Now this is something that I went back to like three times. I did not know the designer, but the fabric 
specifically the fabric felt so nice I kept going back to it and picking it up so this is the shirt and it's this really interesting blouse with these kind of voluminous pickup sleeves and again there's like a little bit of staining back here but this is 100% cotton so I know I can get that out and it's got this like western style stitching on it it's just like it's just a very very unique shirt but I just like I picked it up and I put it back down and I picked it up and I put it back down and I wasn't quite sure and the designer on this is Johanna Ortiz and y'all let's play guess the original price again this is like my favorite game to play I literally play this with myself before I like go and search things I just I like to gamify this stuff so uh put your guesses as to what this originally cost in the comments down below so interested to hear maybe i'll make this a regular part of my videos because i think that this is really fun and i feel like you guys had a lot of fun guessing that that little girl's dress last week but um did you put your guess down below was 900 dollars your guess no it definitely wasn't mine either but guys like the worksmanship on this is unbelievable like look at the way look at the way that back is kind of like shaped so it this designer does a lot of like interesting plays on volume obviously like you can tell from the sleeves i've seen this kind of like picked up sleeve before but like <laughs> where you get me is the inside so on the inside of these sleeves there's a layer of like silk organza which is like if you're not familiar with organza organza is like a stiffer chiffon that can also be used to like give an underpinning body so this literally has form underneath that is going to feel smooth to the touch. Sold comps, of, I've, I haven't found this shirt specifically, but sold comps are in the $100 to $200 range. Uh, again, I have to do a little stain removal on this. I'm glad I picked it up. <laughs> I'm really glad I picked it up. Because literally, like, I picked it up, I put it back down, the, the tag kind of reminded me of the Magashoni tag that's out there, and it just, it just felt too nice. Like, they, something about it told me that this was, like, extreme quality. So I grabbed it, I didn't even comp it in the store, and when I got home and I played my little game, I had guessed, like, two or three hundred dollars. So I was, I was off. So I'm interested to hear what you guessed and how far off you were. So what a crazy find. Again, I will get this, like, right into my stain removal bin and uh, hopefully get that back to looking brand new. But guys, that is the haul for today. It was another insanely good haul. Like I couldn't believe it. Another day that I wish I could have gone for like hours and hours and hours. Although I will say in contrast to last week, like last week it felt like everything I was picking up was so nice. I was there for quite a while on this day while I was picking this stuff up. It, I got great stuff. 30 items was my cap, but it did take me a while to find them all. It was pretty busy, but like the gets were real good. So for all of the numbers nerds out there, I have 30 pieces, which means I invested $30 and the retail value on everything that I found here is a whopping six thousand dollars which is like insane but i think i've got sales somewhere between a thousand to eleven hundred dollars on these pieces which will bring me to a profit of somewhere between eight and nine hundred dollars and with a thirty dollar investment that brings my return on investment to 28.8 x and again i think that this is actually even better return on investment than last week which is saying something because last week was insane but i <laughs> Just some of these things I find, guys. I truly and honestly hope I never lose this sense of awe in, in terms of like the stuff that I find in the thrift store here. It's unbelievable. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me while I go through these hauls. This is always so much fun for me. I love playing these little games. I love finding these things. I mean, I like this jacket. I love it so much. Like, I love it so much. But guys, if you had fun, please consider leaving a like or comment on this video. Of course, don't forget to hit subscribe. I would love to have you along on this journey. Don't forget, if you want to give Vendu a try, use the link in the description down below to get started. But guys, without further ado, have the most beautiful week. Happy hunting. I'm sending you all the fabulous, unique, embroidered shirt jacket vibes. And I will see you in the next one.